This note, covered in Johar Sarnayev's own blood, now a centerpiece of his trial. It was discovered in the boat where the admitted marathon bomber was hiding. The eyes Todd Kaskevich is live outside federal court where contents of that note and the new questions it's raising for jurors. Todd? Good morning, Erica. Good morning, Jim. The question that jurors are no doubt wondering this morning, will they see that boat intact with their own eyes, or will pieces of the boat on which that note was written be brought into court? We could learn the answer as soon as today. Regardless, jurors already know what the note says. Prosecutors say it provides not only a confession, but also a motive. A Boston police bomb technician discovered the note written in pencil inside the boat moments after Jahar Zernayev was captured in Watertown. Zernayev writes he's jealous that his brother received Janatul Ferdas, or the highest level of paradise, before him. But that God has a plan for each person. Quote, mine was to hide in this boat and shed some light on our actions. The note on a blood-stained inside wall of the boat is riddled with bullet holes. Boston police bomb tech Todd Brown testified he was among the first officers on the boat sent to look for booby traps. Brown confirmed the bullet holes all came from law enforcement and that Zernayev did not have a weapon or explosives when he was taken into custody. The note goes on to offer a possible motive, reading, quote, The U.S. government is killing our innocent civilians, but most of you already know that. As a unintelligible, I can't stand to see such evil go unpunished. The final line reads, quote, now, I don't like killing innocent people. It is forbidden in Islam. But due to said unintelligible, it is allowed. The note is key to the prosecution's case, not just because it provides a motive and a confession, but also because it helps to undermine the defense theory that Jahar Zarnayev was acting under the influence of his older brother. Reporting live outside federal court this morning, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB, News Center 5.